Hello again, and I figured it was time to do a review of my new HUA, which I think that's how you pronounce it. That's Y-I-H-U-A 948. And it is a desoldering station, um, which I bought on Amazon. It was about $120, I think is what I paid. Anyway, today I'd like to review how it works and just give you a little bit of information so you know what to look for. I mean, normally desoldering is done with a desoldering wick or some sort of desoldering suction pump. Um, you know, all of these have their uses, but um, I would say that a desoldering gun is supposed to raise the gain quite a bit and allow you to suck the solder off of joints and components much more quickly and efficiently. So uh, stand by and we'll talk a little bit about how this works. So what's nice about a desoldering uh, station is you can set the temperature to whatever temperature you want and the gun comes with the built-in suction um, so as you can see if i pull the trigger you can hear the pump working as it sucks the solder into the to the nozzle what i liked about this kit is it came with multiple uh, tips and um, replacement springs and filters and um, again i like the ability to set the temperature wherever you want um, and for the device to just automatically adjust and start desoldering at that point. Okay, so looking through uh, my magnifying glass, I'm trying to desolder this USB card off of this prototype that I've built. And uh, you can see that it's got, see if I can point to it here with a pen, it really has four points and then um, and then um, obviously the signals right here so I'm gonna go ahead and desolder that I'm not gonna do it while I'm filming but I'll show you the I've already kind of started it you can see there's some gaps already in the solder there and I'll finish it here as part of this video one thing about desoldering is that um, People may not realize this, but sometimes you have to add a little bit of flux. Again, flux does a couple things. It helps the solder flow, but it also helps evenly heat up the solder that you're trying to suck off. And there you have it. I was able to remove that USB connector off this board. Um, again, a very delicate process, as you can see by looking in there. Um, you can see the holes left, and of course I can clean that up with just the normal solder sucker, or even with this device. Let's try cleaning up with the device and see how it does. So I th think after I cleaned it up, um, actually the device did a great job of sucking the solder out of those holes, as you can see. I might have had the temperature set just a little too high because I'm taking a little bit off the solder mask off the board. Again, nothing uh, that's going to hurt the board or its operation, but you can see... Um, I was able to remove that just fine and um, allowed me to put a new component on and soldering that on just the normal process. So again, my review of this uh, UA948 uh, uh, is um, it certainly makes desoldering a much easier job than you could do with the traditional solder sucking pins or the wicking solder sucking, um, you know, the flux wick. Um, either one is okay but they can be a real pain for getting solder out of especially big one big holes like you would have for this um, these big pins on this usb connector anyway my review is it does a pretty good job i think it's probably worth the price of 120 dollars especially if you do much board work and you need to desolder things um, it can save you a lot of heartache and trouble and again i also think the easier you're able to desolder um, the less chance you damage the boards that you're working on. Um, however, I would say that um, there are just a few nuances that might be a little bit funny. Is it does have a sleep function, and you can actually set how you know what that sleep looks like. Um, and um, you know, if you if it does go to sleep, all you really have to do is just wiggle the the iron and then it'll wake back up again and then i again i really liked the spare parts they had the tips the springs the filters all the pieces 
so as you wear this, um, you have replacement parts for it without having to uh, scramble and buy a new unit. So this is the parts and pieces I was referring to. It comes with four spare tips, um, obviously of different diameters. And then it comes with the filters, some uh, prongs for cleaning out the uh, gun. Um, uh, again, the filters are those springs and then the other things there. So, I mean, again, it, it comes with a pretty nice package so that you can replace anything that would go wrong in this gun.